So recently I had posted a video uh, uh, for parents of boys who have found out that their son has a girlfriend. And um, of course now this video is for parents who have daughters and who have just found out or whose daughter has mentioned to them that she has a boyfriend and how this video is about how you can possibly handle this conversation with your daughter and what are the points that you should keep in mind when you have this conversation with your daughter. Remember in today's age of social media where our kids are exposed at a very early age to different cultures. Uh, we are seeing that uh, youngsters as young as 13, 14 and 15 um, have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and also at a very young age they have started becoming sexually active. I do not mean um, you know where they may be uh, you know fully involved in a sexual act but they start exploring uh, you know sexual intimacy at a very young age. And hence it is very important as parents to acknowledge this and to talk about it versus feeling very embarrassed and shy. In fact, in the earlier deal, a parent had asked me that, ma'am, if we have these conversations, will our children get a sign that we are okay with it? And my answer to that was very simple, that just because we are not okay with rapes and suicides, does that mean that we should not talk about it with our children? And if we talk about rapes and suicides, does that mean that our children think we are okay with it? Absolutely not, right? So remember that having this conversation with your child is important, but how you have the conversation and what you talk and in what tone and energy you bring into the conversation will determine how your child interprets it. So first thing is if you have found out that your daughter is having a boyfriend or is in a steady relationship with somebody then first of all do not overreact. So do not uh, bring in any extreme dramatic reaction. One extreme would be oh my god how could you do this you are so young oh you know nobody in my family has done this you are going to bring uh, you know you are going to uh, bring kalank to our family and you know so young and my god your mind is corrupted. So don't go to one extreme where you completely you know accuse blame show shock and uh, you know show surprise and anger at something like this. You may feel it inside no doubt but do not bring it up in front of your young girl because that will just shut her down completely and she will not be open to any further discussion. The other extreme is for parents who are extremely permissive and they and then the other reaction would be oh that's so great you have a boyfriend oh wonderful I'm so happy for you blah blah blah. So that extreme is where parents are indirectly giving the permission and encouraging this. We don't want to go into any of these extremes. Treat it like a matter of factly way, okay, I see or I hear or I found out that you're having, uh, your, you know, this boyfriend. Well, that's great. So how do you feel about it? And start talking to the girl and understand what does she uh, feel about the relationship. Remember, at such a young age, uh, it may not be something very long term. Maybe they are just experimenting. Maybe it could be long term. We don't know. But do not jump to any conclusions or do not assume things. Let your child understand it herself first because... At teenage is the years of maximum confusion. So she herself may not have figured out what this relationship is all about. Second thing is it is important to have the conversation about sex and sexuality and sexual intimacy. Uh, so talk to your daughter about you know unwanted pregnancies, about taking precautions in case she happens to get intimate or in case something happens accidentally. Uh, if you are not comfortable having this conversation then please take help of a professional or take help of an older cousin or a mentor or anybody who your daughter trusts. But it is important to educate your daughter about sexually transmitted diseases, about unwanted pregnancies and about the ways that she can prevent that from happening. And it is also important to talk to her about the emotional and mental scars that the girl stays with after having gone through such an experience. Uh, so while the girl and the boy both have been equally responsible for being sexually intimate, it is the girl who is unfortunately left with the pregnancy and the consequences of that. So it is important to have this conversation with your daughter. It is also important to tell your daughter to have clear boundaries with the boyfriend. How much ever she loves the guy or she trusts him or he may be the best boy in the world. but Talk to your daughter about saying no, about uh, you know, uh, putting her foot down uh, and not compromising on her value system or whatever she is comfortable doing or not doing. Because many times girls end up doing certain things to just please the, the boyfriends, things that they may later on regret or they may not be comfortable with. So it is important to tell your daughter it is okay to say no, it is okay to set boundaries, not for the society and the parents but for her own self-respect, 
for her own mental health. It is also important to talk to your daughter about abuse. If the boyfriend is getting abusive and is not respecting her, is not respecting her boundaries or is not respecting her as a person and if he has the tendency to be abusive to the point of being physically violent or verbally violent, then please educate your daughter that it is not okay. However, I have seen that in families where daughters have grown up seeing their mother being abused by the father or vice versa or where they have grown up, uh, you know, where one or both the parents have been physically, verbally abusive, then these girls grow up normalizing abuse. So they believe that it is okay to be like that, right? And then if the boyfriend is like that, they don't think there's anything wrong with it. So of course, uh, you need to also look within what are the kind of, um, you know, examples you have set as a woman, as a mother for your daughter and even if you have made those mistakes make sure that you openly uh, talk to your daughter about these so that she doesn't carry forward those mistakes and patterns it is important to know that girls who have low self-worth low body image and low confidence oftentimes fall for the first guy who gives them a little bit of appreciation a little bit of care and a little bit of validation uh, so for such girls it is important to start at home work on building their confidence Talk to them that this could also be a possibility in case you feel that your daughter is one such person who has very low confidence and is in a relationship for the wrong reasons. Remember, do not judge, do not accuse her of having that, but do have a discussion around it. So it, let, it gives her uh, some points to think about. Mm, uh, it is important to... Uh, in short, uh, to talk to your daughter about sexual safety and intimacy, about setting healthy boundaries, about saying no and about maintaining self-respect and about, uh, uh, you know, uh, not giving an, and taking abuse from the boyfriend. Also, at 14, 15, 16, we must also talk to our children about how there are many other things in life that may take priority later on. So, to take this relationship slowly and not assume that it may be for life. Mm. So these are some of the discussions and conversations that I've had with my two young uh, kids, a boy and a girl when they were teenagers. And I think that really helped. When we as parents are comfortable talking about this to our children, then of course, that's not going to prevent them from doing anything. That's uh, but that will at least make sure that when they are in trouble or when they are really struggling with some problem in that area, they will feel safe enough to come and talk to you or at least they will reach out for help. Otherwise, if these conversations are not done, then your child will go to uh, go looking for help to the wrong people, might be misguided and might also uh, sometimes take steps that might be harmful physically and mentally for your daughter. So it is very important to have this conversation with the level of maturity, with the energy of being calm, balanced and regulated and not being triggered by it. Right. Um, remember uh, that at this age, because of so much of social media exposure today, teenagers are also becoming very obsessive. We have teenagers who have anger issues and a lot of this comes out in their relationships with each other. So have these conversations about possessiveness, obsession, uh, you know, how these things can harm and scar uh, young people for life. Remember, having open, honest conversations is very, very important with your teenagers. They may think, you may think that they are they are not dismissing it, but they may be just listening. Uh, so I hope that this video was useful to you. I hope you can remember some of these points and uh, discuss it with your young girl. Uh, all the best. Happy parenting.